How have you changed for the better over the course of your life? Maybe it's over the course of 12 years, 28 years, 62 years. Think of a way that you have changed for the better. Some way that you have grown and evolved and become a better person. How you might have developed a new gift or how you have let go of a bad habit. Think about some way that you have changed for the better. And I believe you will find God's grace there. One of the most obvious points in my own life of growth and change for the better happened after I was ordained priest. I was assigned here to St. Elizabeth for two years and then to Visitation Parish for three years. I was associate pastor in both places. And in the course of those five years, something very significant had to change in me. I had to learn to get comfortable with public speaking, with being up in front of people frequently. It was something I had always been frightened of doing when I was younger, and I could afford to be when I was in school. But once I was ordained, I had to grow into it. I had to become more comfortable with being in public, public speaking, speaking in front of people on a daily basis. All I can say is that with repeated practice and lots of good feedback from the people of St. Elizabeth and the people of Visitation, slowly I started to learn some things, what not to do, what to do. And I learned over the course of that time that I just needed to take some chances. I needed to practice, and I needed to believe that it was possible, that I could change, that I could grow into this, that it could become a part of my life. I look back now in awe and amazement at what happened over the course of those years, how I really did become comfortable with being in public and public speaking. I even came to enjoy it and enjoy it to this day. I can point to lots of factors, but as a man of faith, I will say all of it was God's grace. Anytime we can point to a time of growth, a time of transformation, we can see an abundance of grace. The conversion of Paul is one of my favorite stories in all the scriptures. It is the unlikeliest of transformations. Someone who persecutes the church, someone so violently opposed to the church, suddenly becomes a part of it. It is a complete 180 for Paul, and it's astounding to see what God can do with the human heart. Just a brief encounter with the Lord. Brief and, of course, powerful and dramatic. By the grace of God, Paul is changed. Paul is transformed. And Paul becomes an instrument for God to proclaim good news to the world, to the Gentiles. Think about times in your own life when you have changed for the better, when you have experienced some surprising, powerful, or profound transformation. Dig into the experience and think about all the factors that went into it, all that enabled you to change, and therein you will see the grace of God.